This is music, and this is a diabolic and mighty hall slash update video. In this video, I'm going to show you a haul I picked up um, in Diabolic Might Records webshop. Um, I've been experimenting with buying from underground labels uh, over the last year, basically. And uh, Diabolic Might is a German uh, label. I picked up some records and some tapes in their webshop. It was a very positive uh, buying experience. Um, so that's absolutely great i will definitely consider buying from them again in the future let's have a look at the items up first abomination and this is going to be a thrash heavy episode by the way but i guess i guess this that can't really be a surprise to anyone um blind guardian battalions of fear power metal speed metal i would say their early stuff now i'm in the process of picking up um, the, I guess the first handful of Blind Guardian albums on vinyl. I have them all on on CD, and I'm happy with having most of them on CD. But I'm I'm a big fan of their early stuff, so I've decided to pick that up on vinyl, and I'm absolutely satisfied with reissues. Um, up next, traditional metal, maybe with a bit of speed thrown in. Blood Money, Battle Scarred. Great cover artwork, very, very, very cartoony. That is great. Up next, uh, Hex, Watery Graves, and Quest for Sanity, I think uh, it's called. It's like a compilation of two EPs. Um, so that's great. Up next, uh, Jaguar, Power Games, uh, Black and White Splatter. Now this one is limited to 350 um, copies and my version is 43. This hype sticker is on the shrink wrap. So there's a hype sticker uh, that I will um, try to um, transfer without destroying it because that one is worth holding on to for sure. Now my vinyl collecting is restricted to um, thrash metal speed metal uh, traditional metal hard rock from 1980 to 1995 i do make some exceptions you could argue that blind guardian is maybe an exception because it's power metal um, and i found that the key to sticking to that very restrictive system and not going crazy is to allow yourself to actually break the rules every now and then sometimes systematically like uh, for example i've allowed myself to pick up all iron maidens releases also the ones after 95 i've allowed myself to pick up the entire death discography on vinyl except for symbolic which is difficult to find uh, at fair prices um and that's death metal of course uh and sometimes just in you know because it's too cool not to to buy and that's the case with this one here sith lore from out of the darkness uh pretty recent release but i you know with a band name like sith lord you gotta pick it up right and up next urchin uh the band that uh, Adrian Smith was in before Maiden. Um, this is the High Roller release or reissue. And I think High Roller is actually... They've named their label for a, an Urchin song. I think. I could be mistaken. I also think, and I could also be mistaken about that, that Dave Murray plays the guitar on a couple of songs here. So that is cool. That was, you know, that was the vinyls. Let's turn to uh, the tapes. Up first, Decapitated. Sin Misericordia, that's uh, Spanish language, I think Black and Death Thrash, something like that. I don't, I don't even remember. I checked out a couple of songs and I thought that was pretty cool. I want to pick that up on tape. Dungeon, Purifying Fire, more like traditional metal, I would say. Um, cool looking uh, cassette shell there 
of course it's this one is out on dying victims um extinction uh the monarch slaves really like this cover artwork uh pretty cool stuff there and the music too of course chinese blackened death a bit thrashy maybe hellfire the seven gates in hell re-recorded version this is limited to 100 copies and the copy i have is uh, number 62 so that's of course pretty cool massive destruction demo 2020 um a really really cool looking tape for a demo tape back in the day uh, when we made demo tapes getting like a cool print like that nope forget about it our tapes would look more like this old school uh tape and i really like that mordant demonic satanic so uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun and reckless manslaughter caverns of perdition also a pretty old school looking tape which i appreciate um i got more i got more hold on uh speed killer midnight vampire um shafat uh, i think this is i don't even know what's up and down here that's just yeah i think this is it yeah um sarkator another kind of cool looking tape on uh, dying victims this is the uh, shafat tape that actually looks pretty cool too um revenge spitting fire on a nice green transparent green tape uh thrash bombs oops almost dropped it thrash bombs uh master of the dead thrash metal not surprising uh total annihilation on the chains on uh, on chains of doom and uh vultures vengeance lyrics warning from the reign of the untold a bit of a long title uh, i think this is more traditional maybe epic metal and up last we have a uh, split uh, rapture and toxic carnage preachers of the fallen fate because i like me a split every now and then i said a split okay anyways that was this update uh bunch of cool tapes uh for the collection some nice vinyls for the collection i'm pretty satisfied with this positive buying experience buying from uh, diabolic might records for now thanks for watching